Hi everyone, this is Liz from Creative Life of Liz and I am here to share my July book bullet journal setup. Um, before I do that, I do want to walk you through uh, where I am so far in um, June. So I'm just gonna start at the beginning. Um, this is currently, we're on the 29th when I am filming this and it's gonna be posted tomorrow, the last day of the month. So pretty much the whole month is filled in. It was a really good reading month here. Um, I'd already finished my Read the Rainbow Challenge. I did manage to um, do the June Buzzword Challenge, so that was good. Also continuing to make progress on my Pop Sugar Challenge, although I did not add, I think, any for, oh, I added one. I managed to get one done this month, but still, still getting there uh, for that one. And then I am continuing to make progress on Romanceopoly. I should be able to finish that in time as well. And then hopping over here, I'm gonna jump to, this is my statistics for May. Um, overall, I had a pretty decent reading month. Um, definitely a good number in terms of books. I read 45 books, a little over 12,000 pages, so that was pretty good. I had an okay month, it was like a 3.6 average rating, so all right, I think. Um, I had some good reads, some less good reads. Um, moderately diverse reads. I wish I was a little bit better at the own voices, um, something I'm definitely working on, but overall pretty all right. I really enjoyed All About Me by Mel Brooks. This is autobiography. I thought that one was really fun. And then moving into June, the only book I have not read is Twisted Love for the Clitorature Book Club. I might not end up reading that one. I also have until I think the 10th of July if I do decide to read it before the live show. And I finished three of my four Romanceopolis. I might end up just dropping the City Lane one and just continuing to roll and just let that one come back around whenever it comes back around. I think that might be the best way to approach it. Doing well on the Tarot Readathon. I'm hoping to finish probably a couple more still this month. Um, so that's gonna be pretty good. And as you can see, that's quite a good number of reads as well. I have been drawing cards as I go. Um, so that has been really nice. And then these are all my reads for the month. Um, been quite a busy month overall. And then I have this little bit of space for today and tomorrow, finishing up those last couple of books. And then a little bit of space here for my statistics. And then we move into July. So for July, I actually based my design very heavily off of the June setup that the uh, person who runs the Mochi Bujo channel, I'll link that down below, um, her video for June and her regular Bujo setup, I very heavily based mine on hers. I did pull out like an obscene number of what I would call like patriotic but make it beachy kind of pens. I pulled um, two red and two blue from my I Buy Am fine liners from Amazon. I pulled um, a blue. I think this is light blue. It's in Japanese, so I don't know. A <laughs> light blue. And then this one I think is just called red mild liner. I also pulled a yellow mild liner. And this one that's called beige, so kind of a tannish color, that's this one. I pulled those and then I pulled these three Bic Intensity pens as well, so two blues and a red. My plan is to use this bright red um, when I actually write in things during the month. And then I also use these two washies. This one um, is actually, both of them are from Amazon, from different sets. So I use those as well over on this page for the setup. Um, but all that aside, and now all of this talking, I'm just gonna stick that pen in there. Um, this setup and kind of the design over here was all heavily based on that Muji Bojo, Bujo setup. She was doing hydrangeas as her setup, so a little bit different a design, but I kind of wanted to go with beachy summer things and then make it a little bit patriotic. Um, but I think it turned out really cute. I will say that this is the uh, cover page that has taken me by far the longest of probably any cover page I have ever set up. Um, but I think it turned out really cute and really fun and I got to use lots of colors, so that was really nice. And then over here, I'm just gonna fill in the Romanceopoly and my priority reads. At some point, I'm gonna fill that in. I have not done it yet, but I will get to it. I'm not worried, um, but just kind of did these little boxes here uh, for that setup. And then I used all of the colors to make the little headers there and then used the mild liner just to fill in the rest of the row. And then that's literally all I have for this month setup. It's very simple, 
very straightforward. I'm just going to start pointing to my books like I always do. I am still contemplating if I'm going to participate in Summerween. I'm not a huge like thriller, horror kind of reader. I do enjoy a cozy mystery, not usually like the darker kinds of mysteries, but we're going to see. Um, let me know down below if you have any suggestions for things that you think I might enjoy if you know anything about what I've been reading or have ever looked at my grades or anything like that, um, let me know down below if you have suggestions and you think I should participate in Summerween. Also, let me know down below if there are any other readathons that you think I should participate in. I would really love like um, a weekend or a week long readathon. I think that would be really nice to be doing um, at some point, but I just, I haven't seen anything that I think aligns well with my reading, especially since I've been reading uh, Kindle Unlimited stuff recently. So very uh, romance heavy, I would say, especially contemporary romance heavy. Um, but let me know. I would love to participate in something this month, um, even if it's just a short weekend one. Uh, so we'll see. When we get to the end of the month, when I do my August setup, you'll see whatever it is that I happen to do for the rest of this. But let me know that down below. Also, let me know down below if you have any books that you're really excited about for July, things you think I should read. I would always love suggestions there. Uh, also, like and subscribe below if you haven't already. I really appreciate it and it helps me out. If you don't have anything that you want to say, leave me some sort of beachy emoji down below. I would love to uh, just know that you stopped by to say hi. And then lastly, follow me on Instagram at Creative Life of Liz. You'll see in progress and finished spreads. I show bits and pieces of this planner, my other planner, what's going on in my life, what I'm reading, all that good stuff. And until next time, bye.